All right, this is Andrew Jolly with Jota Home Inspections. It is August 22nd, 2019, and we're doing a sewer scope here at 536 East Lowell, or Lowell Ave in Salt Lake City. Uh, I pushed the camera out 42 feet, and we're hitting a section of the line that looks like it's either got a lot of buildup or um, something's collapsing in. Something's going on uh, to where I'm not e even able to get my camera through. Um, I found handful of more significant items with this sewer line. Uh, I would recommend that it be cleaned and further evaluated and and honestly there there's some spots where it's flaking off bad enough on this cast iron that it's something that you might consider replacing now completely or at least doing a liner if it's if you're able to. Um, I'll pull it back and I'll kind of explain what that means and, and what the options are. Uh, average sewer line is about a hundred feet out uh, you're pretty close to the road at this house, and so it could be less. Um, but but without pushing it all the way out, I'm not sure how long your line would be. But the longer the line, the more it's going to cost to replace it. So right off the bat, uh, you can see all this buildup on the line. And I'm going to try to wash it off as we run through, and I'll run some water if I need to to get any sediment off of my camera head so it's as clear as possible. But if you look on the screen at all this buildup, that's the cast iron flaking off of the line. And over time, that cast iron continues to flake and flake away, and it eventually gets so thin that it needs to be replaced. That's what's going on here. Uh, cast iron is original pipe, and it this is what happens when it reaches the end of its life. Uh, when I put the camera into the sewer line, uh, here in the crawl space, there's an access point. It's holding water, and that means that something is blocking the line or you have improper grade. Now I can see this area in the crawl space, and it doesn't look like you have improper grade. It looks like it slopes uh, towards the street, which is what you want, and so that means that something is inhibiting this line and causing it to pull water right here. Um, you know, with with cast iron, it, it's not uncommon for it to look kind of like it does on the screen right there. And if it was performing properly and everything was draining, and I was able to get my camera all the way out to the street, you know, I wouldn't necessarily recommend replacement. I, I generally don't recommend something that drastic. Usually, I'm finding maintenance items where it needs to be cleaned. Um, and you know that that's probably the first step here is to clean it and then find out how bad it actually is but if you look on the left part of the screen just how bad it's flaking off that that's not a good sign uh, one thing with cast iron too is that you can't hydro jet it the way that you can some other types of pipe so one of the ways you can clean it is with a hydro jetter and it's a high pressure jet water jet it'll blast everything off the line any roots uh, any build up but you can't really do that with cast iron because that will just the the cast will just flake off and continue to flake off and it can actually make it worse. So right there, you see all that buildup that we had. Uh, that's a point that definitely needs to be cleaned out. Uh, and then this is all standing water where the sewer line is is essentially completely full of water. Um, that's the access point right there, and you can see how there's literally water almost all the way up to the access point. Uh, that's not a great sign. Um, and and that's something that if you continue to use it the way that it is now without having it cleaned, it's, it's probably going to continue to fill up this sewer line and back up. So I'm going to end this recording now.